goes down and Dendi has a, a semi combo here, which is right now. So, Light Strike Array, but the Fissure. Aloha Dance. Light Strike Array is still going to connect with the Slave. They can tick him down so low. They got him. Yep. They actually had enough damage. Lina is so strong at mid right now. It's it's super powerful. He's, he doesn't have boots. All he has is a stout shield and a crap, crap ton of consumables. But he does have an ability to potentially deny himself with the rot. But they catch him out in the tree line. They put the catcher onto Yoki as well. He's gonna hook in. Okay, he'll hook Vanscore in, but the troll warlord is still gonna get down. So, yep, there's your Fissure oh into hook and dismember. Ah, uh, Yoki Whoa. was too far away. And now, a Vos turns on the ultimate. He's gonna beat him down. So, Pudge is gonna drop. The SD, he denies himself, but Lower Dance is SD blocked onto the tri onto the sideline. Uh, Illusions, someone. Empire here, they're looking Radiant's for a quick pickoff on someone who's over committing. So, Dandy just throws one slave. They drop the Sentry Ward, and yeah, Radiant Empire's obviously oh, gone. Not the back wall, Van score. Too close. Then again, where's that Telekinesis? He gets the pickup. Can he actually get the steal as well? He's back out of the tree line with the Laguna Blade. They killed the punch so quickly. That's the disruption. They're going to lock a low dance in the tree line. And what was stolen? It was only the totem. Not really going to help. A little bit of extra damage, but it's enough. Sandy, they're just pounding away over a silent now, as well as the SF with the last Radiant's two left alive. Last Ray gone. holding resolution in position, because there's no point trying to just kill off the Brusselback. And he goes for the Major Man, but the Brusselback is just so big they need to stop him from cool spray because he's gonna take too many heroes with him and they want to go for more aloha dance they need the line strike array in order to kill him off but with yoki hanging around the corner it's the se with the disruption going on resolution so the hook's well off target by yoki we split ourselves so far up a force is battling from the low ground inside the river but with that catcher over on resolution slave it as well he's gonna drop down yoki goes for this member pushed back by the adaptive strike such a huge stun duration from that morphling he's gonna hook it as well he gets the rot he's there as well and pick up the kill he'll deny himself as well because you can't get the kill in when the Shallow Grave's wearing off and you've already got Rot turned on, so it's a guaranteed denial. Venscore now also to add more Chaos Mage to steal the hook somewhere during that engagement. But Empire back up with Silent as well as Aloha Dance on low life. Yeah, this game's a little bit, uh, get, getting into that uh, too clowny. Yep. I'm not quite sure about this from a Vorse though. He's gonna get Fissured, hooked back, and uh, brought oh down pretty God. quickly. Nice Fissure! Really, really nice Fissure coming into the middle of all of Team Empire. They try to have some fault with the purge as well, but uh, it looks like it's going to be a two for one trap at the moment. The Yule Scepter up and towards the air, so Vance goes to hit the deck, will also drop. Pro Boss able to dodge the hook. He is, uh, he is made of water, so I'm surprised the hook is even able to grab him. But it's 17 to 19 on the board now. As Team Empire do get a couple of pick offs. I'm still surprised the entire time, Roche. Really quickly. I think Vanscore's going to try and stop him. With a Fade Ball to start with, and then a Vorse running in. There's a TP coming in too. The Hawk is going to fly, oh, and actually yeah. grabs the TP in Denny. The Yule Scepter goes up on top of the punch. Denny Fissure going to connect on him. He's got a Shadow Blade, so he's out of range of the Echo Slam. Echo Slam stolen here by Rubik. Might try and return it as Silent dumps, jumps in even deeper. Denny has to move away. He's got three three cool stacks on top of him. So he has to wait for this to dissipate. A Vorse on the wrong side of the team fight. Wait, what? Why is he over here? <laughs> <laughs> you know the funniest thing about that is Dendi was the one that got hooked and he somehow made it back to his team even though he got fissured while while being in this. And Havost, I think he's, it's weird to say it that way too because they're 10 kills ahead. But if Resolution. you look at the powers, you can see. Wind her up. Uh, that damage onto the troll wall was enough to kill him off and uh, now it will be. Initially though it wasn't. He actually needed help. Coming in for more kills. There's no gem. Oh There's a or he jumped back. Aloha dance blinks as well. But Phobos jumps and he wants to strike over on resolution. And look how fast Rubik is jumping in the middle of the engagement as well. He'll drop because of it with the SF death ulti. Yoki also trying to ensure a kill, but they'll be made to work for it. So Goblack, he knew they oh, were. They're chasing. <laughs> <laughs> they're not catching oh him. There's no way they get anything here, come on. <laughs> like, Phobos jumped out to a replicant Dyer's in the middle lane, and he's massively, like, attack. scared. He TP'd out of that mid as quick as he possibly could. Much. But, uh, uh, Aloha Dance. Phobos is walking in, Aloha Dance will get the initial stun, follow up Fisher. There is a replicant to jump out to, so they need to get the dismember as well. But at the oh same time, gosh. there's 2.4k <laughs> to get through, but they're gonna do so. Dendi, wow, the turning, disruption, attack. Silent just triggers the BKB. The purge will slow him down a hell of a lot. And I think Goblack knows he's dead. What's been stolen? We've actually managed to steal what? Requiem of Souls? Wind her up, fan score, and just let it rip! The amount of damage he deals! Silent's still gonna take a double kill, however, as uh, Goblack was in range before. Yeah, I think it's pretty good this game.
Earthshaker, Pudge, these heroes will end up just killing themselves. Gold Black, the hook. nice fissure, but the disruption is still able to go off. So Gold Black comes out, then the hook stolen by Vanscore, dragging Yoki in range of the tier 4 towers. He is, however, being shallow graved up. The Yule step through as well, sending up towards the air, and he'll hit the ground straight away. So there's no way for him just to rot himself down. I think there's actually a, a defensive Yule step to, to make sure he couldn't do exactly that. Resolution winding up the ulti. Vanscore blown into a million different little pieces. But it's still a two for, well, what trade-off? We had the buyback come out from the Pudge, and he's walking back to the mid right now, but you got a buyback on only Morphling for Na'Vi. As the mid ranks will get beaten down, they can slow it down, remember, Adapted Strike and Yule Scepters. Not the easiest thing to pump in the damage. There goes Silent, just push back. But there's too many heroes here now. He can't Radiance stay in close enough to do that again. Has they have to accept the fact that mid is gone. Radiance middle yep, and that buyback fallen. serving uh, little to no purpose, but... It is Yoki. It is Yoku. So this BKB, Havos, what are you doing up here? Why is he still here? Uh, Manasar's gonna pop. Vansko with a pick up, throw him back down again. Havos is already dead. No buyback is available. He's short by 150 gold. And they've lost the Shadow Demon as well. Requiem Soul stolen again by Vansko. So he has something to play with, but Aloha Dance jumps in on top of Dandy. They need to get this guy out, but Dandy, the hook was perfect from Yoki. Dandy will buy back into the game. They cannot allow this, this bottom ranks to go down, or else this game is fully over. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. I don't know how they're meant to try and hold this. Like, even with Rubik, he's got a level 3 Requiem of Souls, which is fantastic damage. Russell back. So they've got a way to fight him. The hook shot though, in with the Yule Scepter Phobos. Now defensive Yule Scepter, Waveform. Try to but low R dance controls it beautifully. You do have Denny throwing out that ultimate of his, but Resolution had the cheese. Vanscore, Requiem. He does a little bit of damage to always when to fly, but not enough to really pick up the kill. And Vanscore just tries to TP out because there's no more stuns available in front of him. And Yoki battling underneath the basically the fountain. He's going to drop bomb down, leaving the gem behind. The million ranks are still up. They need to hold this at least, but it's not possible. Resolution beats the crap out of it. A low R dance will probably die, but the Shallow Grave is going to keep him alive a little bit longer with Forstaff giving himself the distance to get away. Phobos accidentally, I don't think he'll be meant to Yule set for himself then. And Silent going YOLO. He's in, he's going to TP the damage, the bash from a boss. You knew one was going to connect. They Yule's him up as well, and Silent dies inside the Radiant base. But Empire do take bottom rack, so they're fine. Where is it? Vanscore not going to find it. Couriers will end up be dying. Oh, the hook, he misses it! There's even the fish that hold him there. There's some resolution. That's really long. They forced stuff him down further. Laguna Blade was the first thing who did the damage. They're dropping him low and a force of the BKB. Try and chase after resolution. He's got blinkers on. He only wants to go for resolution. He wants to walk past one. Yoki as well as Aloha Dan. Maybe he can do it, but the rest of the team, Lena Killer, always going to fly in the meantime. And Avors, he battles 1v3. Phobos will now come in too. The Yule Scepter will send him up, but that allows Resolution to swing, but no ding. He had to actually stop it. At the very last moment, Avors back into the fight, bashing over on Resolution. The the bat, the, bat, the, the stuff of the Fisher, slowing him down, so he does die. That's a dieback from Avors. A double kill for Resolution. Yoki going deep right now into Na'Vi. But he just blinks himself away from the Lion Strike Array, which was way too late from Dendi. And without a force there, and Empire with the with the momentum they've got, like Resolution can walk to the Radiant base right now and pick up his butterfly. And there's nothing that can really be done about it. But he'll move up, stick with the rest of the team, and they're gonna go for top racks. Dendi. Adapted strike, light strike arrays off target, but he's got enough physical damage, but then the bash! Silent as you make the proc one bash! Which stops Denny from finishing the combination. A force will call the GG. And game number two will go the way here of Team Empire. And Navi's night's not over yet. They're going up against Hell Races next. That's our second series from the D2CL. The Clairvoyants, if you could summarize this wonderful, spectacular showmanship of Dota in just three words, what would that what would those three words be? Yoki's a beast. I like those three words. I like those three words. He played nicely, he drafted nicely. He didn't yeah. actually play that well in this game. <laughs>